How's it going guys, it's Kyler the How To Guy 123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a PS4 controller on a PC. Now you can use the controller wirelessly over Bluetooth or wired over a USB cable. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Alright so to begin we're just going to go ahead and leave our PlayStation controller on the side for now. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, but you're going to want to start off on our PC by heading into the link in the description below. And uh, this is going to be for a program called DS4 Windows. And DS4 Windows basically takes our PlayStation controller, which natively just doesn't work on Windows. Windows just doesn't support it. And it's going to trick Windows into thinking it's an Xbox 360 controller, which is fully supported on Windows. And it, yeah, so basically it just takes our PlayStation controller, tricks Windows into thinking it's a 360 controller, and then it just works perfectly fine. Uh, so once you're on this page here, just click on the big green download button that says download now and that's actually going to take you to github here and you're going to want to come down here to the latest version so at the moment of recording this video it's 1.4.52 and then click on ds4windows.zip and now it's going to start downloading and it's going to ask you where you want to put it on your computer i'm just going to put it on my desktop just for easy access so we know where it is and it's fairly small so it shouldn't take too long to download and now we can just go ahead and minimize out of our internet browser now you can see this zip folder on our desktop and we're going to need to extract it so you can use your favorite extraction program to extract the file here. I'm going to use WinRAR. So I'm just going to right click on it and then I'm going to click on extract to DS4 Windows backslash. And what that's going to do, it's going to take all the files in this zip folder here and it's going to put it in its own folder. And in the folder here, it's going to be all of the files that were in the zip here. So you should see two files here. You'll see DS4 updater.exe and ds4windows.exe. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is click on my computer, or for you it's probably going to be called this PC, and go to your C drive, then click on program files, and just put it to the side here, and we're going to take our ds4 windows folder that we extracted, and we're going to want to drag it into our program files here. So make sure it's going into program files, and then click on continue. Basically what we're doing here is we're just putting uh, DS4 Windows in with all of our programs we have installed on our computer. Realistically, you can pretty much put this folder anywhere you want on your computer, but just to keep things organized, we'll just leave it in our program files. Alright, so let's go ahead and maximize this, and let's open DS the DS4 Windows folder here, and you're going to want to right click on ds4windows.exe, and then click on, or come down here to send to, and then at desktop create shortcut. And what that's going to do, it's going to create a desktop shortcut on uh, our desktop for DS4 Windows just so whenever we just want to open it we don't have to go into our program files we just have an easy link to our desktop to open up DS4 Windows and if we want to we can delete the DS4 Windows zip and now let's go ahead and double click on DS the DS4 Windows uh, shortcut that we created so now this window is going to come up and it's going to ask us where we want to uh, save our settings and profiles for DS4 Windows it doesn't really matter which one you choose but I'm going to choose program folder and now it's going to ask you, do you want to allow DS4 Windows to make changes on your system? Make sure to click yes. Okay, now these two windows are going to pop up. And let's focus on this one real quick. So it says, welcome to DS4 Windows. And we're going to want to start off by clicking on step one here, which is going to install the DS4 uh, driver. So go ahead and click on it. It's going to say downloading 100, installing, and install complete. So now down here on step two, it's going to say, if you are on Windows 7, you need to install the Xbox 360 controller driver. We don't have to do this on Windows 10 and Windows 8 and 8.1 because uh, the Xbox 360 controller driver actually comes pre-installed with the OS. But if you are on Windows 7, make sure to click on step two. But I'm going to go ahead and just click on finish. And now let's go ahead and focus on this DS4 Windows uh, window here. So now we can actually go ahead and connect our controller. So first, I'm going to focus on connecting the controller uh, through a USB cable. If you want to connect the controller through Bluetooth, just I'll put a timestamp on the video to where you can skip to connecting it through Bluetooth. So you're going to want to take the USB cable that came with your controller, make sure the other end is obviously plugged into your computer, and just go ahead and plug the other end of the cable into the micro USB port on your controller. And then on Windows, it's going to say we're setting up a wireless controller. Okay, so now it says a wireless controller is set up and ready to go. So once you plug in your controller to your computer, hopefully DS4 Windows should pick it up. If you come up here to the controllers tab, it should list the controller. Now sometimes on the first try, this doesn't work. And what you actually need to do is just restart your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer and I'll be back when that is done. 
Alright, so I just went ahead and restarted my computer. Now let's go ahead and double click on the DS4 Windows shortcut on our desktop to open up DS4 Windows. And under controllers, it should show an ID. And if it does, that means your controller is connected. And on the controller here, you can see that the LED on the back of the controller has lit up blue. I hope you guys can see it on the camera. It's a little bit hard to, hard to see. But uh, it just showed that this is the ID of our controller. It's connected through USB. The battery percentage is full. And over here, the blue is the color that's lighting up on the back of the controller. So you can actually click on this and then click on use a custom color if you want to change the color that's showing on the controller. So I'll just choose like a, like a pink here. And if I click on OK, it should show on the back of the controller. It's now showing a pink color. So now we can actually go ahead and test out if our controller was connected successfully and is working in game. I'm just going to be using a gamepad tester.com to test out our controller here. So if I just hit the X button here, it shows that our controller is an Xbox 360 controller. And that's correct because we're tricking Windows into thinking our PS4 controller is a 360 controller. But if we just move the sticks here, press all the buttons, you can see everything is uh, working correctly. And we've pretty much successfully connected our PS4 controller to our Windows PC through the USB cable. So now I'll show you how to connect your PS4 controller to Windows through Bluetooth. So we can just minimize out of DS4 Windows just for a sec here. And you're going to want to come down here to the start menu and click on the gear here to open Windows' settings. Now click on devices and make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. Now click on add Bluetooth or other device and then click on Bluetooth. Now on the PS4 controller, go ahead and hold down the share button and the PlayStation button and your controller is going to double flash white, just like that. Now under add a device, wireless controller should pop up here and go ahead and click on it. If it asks for a password, it's going to be 0000, but in this case it didn't, didn't ask for a password. Now if everything went correctly, uh, it's going to show that your device is ready to go. And uh, we can just click on done and uh, Windows is just setting up a few things uh, here related to the wireless controller driver, but we can pretty much just ignore that. And uh, we can exit out of our settings here. And we can open up DS4 Windows. Uh, since we minimized it, it's just going to be uh, open down here in the tray. And it's going to be this one here, DS4 Windows. And you can see DS4 Windows has opened. We can see the ID of our controller. It's connected uh, through Bluetooth as the status. And the battery is 90%. And once again, this is the color that uh, is showing on the back of the controller. And now if we go to our gamepadtester.com, we can go ahead and test out to see if our controller was successfully connected. And you can see, there it is. So if I move the sticks around, press all the buttons, you can see everything is working correctly. So at this point, we've pretty much successfully connected our PS4 controller to Windows or our PC through Bluetooth. So a few more things I just wanted to mention related to DS4 Windows. Under settings here, this is just a few different settings related to DS4 Windows. On the settings here, one thing I'd keep check is to run Windows at startup. So uh, basically, whenever you boot into Windows, it's going to launch DS4 Windows. That's just so uh, you can easily just either connect your controller through USB or connect it to Bluetooth. You don't have to open DS4 Windows manually. It'll just instantly connect your controller to Windows. And uh, one more thing I wanted to show you is how to disconnect your controller from Windows when you're running on Bluetooth. So to disconnect your controller, all you have to do is come down here to the bottom right hand corner of DS4 Windows and click on stop. And that's going to disconnect your controller. Uh, it's going to, the LED on the back is going to show white and then you're going to want to hold down the PS button for about uh, 7 to 10 seconds. And once your controller is turned off, the LED is just going to turn off. And now if we want to reconnect our controller, since it's already paired to Windows, all we have to do is click Start on DS4 Windows. And then press the PS button down on our controller for like 2 seconds until it starts blinking. And then it's going to be picked up by DS4 Windows. And that's pretty much all there is to using DS4 Windows to connect your PS4 controller to your PC either through the USB cable or Bluetooth. I hope this video helped. If it did, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.